Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Dehino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the Lego Spike Prime robot arm. Actually, what they call it is helping someone because, you know, somebody that doesn't have an arm, this can be used as a prosthesis arm. But, you know, I like to just call it a robot arm. So if you want to see this, stay with me. Okay guys, so the helping someone robot. I'll be honest, in the Lego instructions for Spike Prime, I'll leave you the link in the description. There's actually three parts to this, but the directions only had two parts. So I was about ready to get on my phone to Lego Education going, uh, hello guys, you missed the third page. And what I later found out is they kind of left the claw part up to you to figure out. And I was like, oh, very smart. So I'm gonna go ahead in the instructions, they give you this first and second part. Basically, this uh, handle is gonna be the second part. The part that fits on your arm is the first part. This is the third part that they did not put in the instructions. So what I did is I kind of looked at the video and went, hmm, how do I, how do I think they built it? and kind of try to put my own twist on it. So what I'll do at the end of this video is basically kind of take this apart so you can see basically how I put it together. And you know, or you can come up with your own, you know, contraption on how to get this to work. But let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Okay, so all you do is you just take your hand or arm here and your forearm part's gonna go right in this slot here and your hand grabs onto the handle. And what's really cool is watch this. When I press this button here, let's go ahead and get to the program. So those levers come down and kind of lock your arm in. And you know, if you have a bigger or smaller arm, it locks in a little better. And then when you press the touch sensor here, um, I programmed it so that when you press it, it'll hold on to whatever you're trying to grasp. And then when you let go, it'll release it with the claw here. So this again is the part that I had to kind of figure out for myself. A lot of it I looked on the video and then where it kind of got weird, I kind of just, you know, did my own thing. In the video, they actually use the spike prime wheels to grab onto things. Um, but, and you know, which would make it grab on easier to bigger things. I just use these curved uh, J beams uh, to kind of stay in the place of those spike prime wheels. So let's go around and try to pick up stuff. Okay guys, so again, this is called Helping Someone, Spike Prime. It just looks superhero-like. And it's just really cool to pick things up. Yeah, the learning curve is gonna just be how to, you know, position um, what you're grabbing so that it does actually grab it and not knock it off somewhere. Um, but it's just really neat to be able to press and hold it. And then when you wanna let go, just let it go. So Spike Prime, guys, we're just loving the projects that we're making from this kit. 
So again, if you guys are having any reservations, um, you know, it's going to depend on what your goal is. Um, there's some really neat projects to make with this. If you're doing first Lego League, um, like I've said before, I really like those wheels. I'm not so sure if we're going to be incorporating Spike Prime in our first Lego League. Other than that, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it's, it's a lot uh, early to tell. And we'll just have to find out next year. But anyway, guys, hopefully if you're using Spike Prime that you get a chance to build this helping someone or robot arm. Okay. I'm Mr. Hino from Missing Hills Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out.